In this lesson, I will be talking about chainmail tools. To start out in chainmail, all you need are two sets of pliers. Technically, needle nose pliers are thinner, finer versions of chain nose pliers. This description does not always apply, however, since there are so many manufacturers of so many different styles and sizes of pliers. First, round nose pliers won't work in chainmail. They are actually for curling and wrapping wire. They don't allow for a good strong grip on jump rings, which is absolutely essential in chainmail. So when shopping for pliers, make sure that you're buying chain nose, needle nose, or even tapered flat nose pliers. One of the most important considerations is the surface texture of the pliers jaw. Ideally, you will want flat, non-marking pliers as opposed to pliers with ribbed or serrated jaws. You can see the difference here between the two surfaces. Using pliers that have toothy jaws is a surefire way to mar the smooth appearance of your jump rings. Pliers with a smooth inside surface have a much smaller chance of damaging your metals while you work. The next factor to consider is the width of the plier tips. I recommend using pliers with tips that are no wider than 2 millimeters. I personally rarely use anything larger than 1.5 millimeters. This allows you so much more maneuverability, especially when working with smaller jump rings. And finally, although this may not impact you much at first, you will definitely notice the handle style of your pliers after a while, especially if you're working on a time intensive project. Wherever possible, I like to use pliers that have ergonomic handles or gel handles that conform to the shape of my grip. I'm a huge fan of these gel pliers, partially because they're super comfortable, but I'm not going to lie, they're also great fun to play with. Go, go, go!